The Page Ruler extension is an incredibly easy to use extension that allows you to easily measure the distances in pixels on a web page. This is very handy for lots of different reasons, such as if you're looking to make imagery and it needs to be a specific size, or if you're looking to test things within your grid system or responsive elements, or just in general, understanding the different pages and the different sizes that are within those pages when constructing it together. So to get started with this extension, we simply add it to our browser. Now this extension is available on Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Opera browsers on all operating systems as well. After adding this to our browser, we can then pin it to the toolbar. To pin it, we simply select and then left click the pin icon. We also have the ability to make this extension available in incognito mode. To make available in incognito mode, we simply select, click again on the three dots and then click manage extension. If we scroll down, you'll see the option to allow an incognito. We turn that on and then it's available in incognito mode of our browser. Now we can go ahead and view an example website. So let's go to Wikipedia. And let's go to a random article. As we can see here. Now we have the ability to left click, which turns the ruler mode on as indicated inside the top left hand corner of our browser. And you'll notice that our mouse now changes to a different cursor. Then we have the ability to click and drag across the page to measure the different elements. Clicking away takes the measurement off the page. If we want to measure a specific image, for example, we can do this, come across the page, and then we can see the sizing of this. We can see this is 218 by 170. It also gives us the indication of how far down the page and how far across the page this element is. And the same from the other way. So we can see that the start point of this is 1,162 pixels from the left of the page. The end point of our rectangle is 1,380 pixels. The top of our rectangle is 221 pixels from the top of our page on the y-axis, and the bottom is 391 from the top of our page on the y-axis. And then we can see with the width and height indicator the breakdown of that. It's very helpful to have the y and x-axis tell you the position of the element, both from the start point of your rectangle and the end point as well, as well as the overall width and height calculations. To turn this off, you simply indicate or toggle this via the browser. And it's done via a simple click of the button. If you right click, there's also options inside as well. So here we have two different options. One is to have the design as grayscale, as we can see previously here. The other is to have the design more colorful, as we can see now. So the different color indicators can be more helpful. Blue highlights the X and Y axis from the start positions. Yellow indicates the height and width. And green indicates the X and Y axis from the finish positions. Overall, this is an incredibly handy tool to use and it's easy to turn on and off and a very light add-on with your extension with the browser with no background activities or um, further processing.